Hello everybody, you found Intunist here with another episode of Tuner Watch. Before we get into it here, I just want to say that I've been receiving some comments about general feedback regarding my channel, and I love that. I want to listen to feedback, I want to listen to feedback, I want to get better at listening to feedback, because I kind of have a problem with taking criticism. I don't know why, I don't know where it came from, I've had a problem with it since I was like a kid, don't know where it is, but I'm working on that to try and change that, and I received some really good criticism about how if I'm gonna make like a rant video or talk about something that isn't related to the game, that's the gameplay in the video, I should do it with an actual camera in front of like, you know, a camera, you know? But, uh, I don't have an Overwatch video ready for tomorrow, so I made this. This is what you get. This is, uh, this is your Overwatch video. It's me talking about something that has absolutely nothing to do with Overwatch, with me sucking at Overwatch in the foreground. Please enjoy it. I just want you guys to know that I'm not dead. I'm not dead in the slightest. I'm the farthest thing from that, although recently it hasn't exactly, uh, it hasn't exactly felt that way. Uh, I am back to school. Boo, boo, I know, believe me, no one's more angry or upset about it than I am. Trust me on that. But, I have just been, uh, busier. I haven't been super busy. I've had time to make videos, but the problem is I've just been so stressed out recently and so tired that sometimes, like, you know when you have so many things on your plate at once, you got homework to do, you got videos to make, you got scripts to write for future videos and stuff? When I have all of that on my plate, sometimes I just lie down and watch YouTube videos on my phone. And the reason I do that is because, like, there are so many things, like, demanding 100% from me, and you cannot mathematically or physically or mentally give 100% to anything. That's not possible. So sometimes, like, as a result of that, I just have, like, a meltdown. Not, like, a super anxiety-driven, like, freak-out meltdown or anything, but I just lay down and just do nothing instead, just because I have so much to do. You know that feel? So right now, I'm just in the getting accustomed phase of going into school. You understand? It's my first week there, and so far, I've had some problems. Uh, Monday, earlier this week, uh, I missed my second class of a class that that's kind of cool, I kind of wanted to take, it's like an intro to media class, but it's at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I commute to school, you understand? I go to a four-year university, but I commute there, and uh, on that morning, and this morning too, it took me quite literally an hour to get to the school. I mean, it's not a good commute, and it's kind of far away, but it's like a half an hour far away. It ain't that bad, but this school, I'm telling you right now, has parking from hell. It's terrible. There are not enough lots, and like the biggest lot and like the best lot to go to has over like a thousand like different spots in it and everything. There is never a fucking parking spot in there. And on that day, I spent not only an hour trying to get to the school, literally an hour I spent trying to find a parking spot. And the best part of all that, I couldn't find a parking spot. I wound up being a half an hour late for my class, and I couldn't even go to the class because there was just nowhere to park my damn car. So I wound up going home, hungry as hell, thirsty as hell, angry as hell. I was, I honestly don't think I've ever been more frustrated than I was in that moment. I just, I couldn't find a goddamn spot. I felt like I was living in New York or something, and I don't live in New York. I don't go to school in New York or anything specifically to avoid that kind of situation. Or part, that's partly the reason. I, it, I was so angry. And the best part is that this morning when I tried to find a parking spot in that same lot, I made sure to get to school an hour earlier. I got there at 8.30 in the fucking morning. Still no spots. 8.30 in the morning. Their main parking lot. A lot with over, well over, a thousand parking spots. There was nowhere to park. There was not a single parking spot in the entire dot- in the entire lot. I went over the whole thing again, it was terrible. And... I'm new to the campus, you understand? So I don't completely know my way around yet. There are other commuter lots that you can go to, but I didn't know exactly where to find them, and I just feel totally lost and, like, alone, you know? And I went all the way down there, and another reason I don't want to go all the way down to the other commuter lots is, frankly, because of just that. They're down. The campus that I go to, it's on a goddamn mountain. It's literally on a mountain. Like, it's a hilly, hilly campus. Like, you, like, you see this? This is my school right here. Here's, like, the main parking lot that nobody can get to, and here is, like, where you can park. 
It's pretty fucking terrible. So I went all the way down there, had to walk way up the mountain. I tried to catch a shuttle bus to go all the way up there, and I couldn't because the shuttle bus wouldn't come for an hour, and by that point, I would have been late for my goddamn class, so what's the point of having a shuttle bus, or even, like, calling one, if they can't get you to your fucking class on time? So, yeah. I have been incredibly stressed out. Last night, I also have a night class that I hate. It's a film class that I know I'm going to despise because we're going to watch stuff that nobody's ever heard of. I figured in film classes, you figure in film classes, you know, you'd be watching the classics or anything. You'd be watching Casablanca, you'd be analyzing the fuck out of that movie. But no, see, that movie was seen by people and people enjoyed it. So in the minds of film critics and film enthusiasts, if you will, it's overrated and therefore it's bad. We have to watch something that's complete garbage and made like garbage, but no one's ever heard of it. So that's what makes it good. I fucking hate film classes. I've taken two and now I'm taking another one and it's honestly made me lose all interest in film. Seriously, I used to want to get into it. I was super into it in high school. I'm not anymore at all. Uh, maybe like writing I could do perhaps. I mean writing is still kind of cool I guess, but honestly getting involved with film? Nah, nah fam. Nah, fam, you could take that- you could take that to the bank and you can have that bank robbed and have that fucking, like, that little thing that they robbed go halfway to, like, Minnesota or wherever bank robbers go to get arrested. Wherever it is. I- fucking- I'm not- I don't like it anymore. I just have to take it because I need it as a non-major for the major that I'm in. So, yeah, I've been super stressed out and, frankly, kind of lonely because there are- I'm spending whole days by myself, whole times by myself because I don't know anybody on that campus. I could get involved in the Smash community there, but I want to be there as little as possible because I want to be here making videos because that's what makes me so upset about going to school. I literally cried last night a little bit because I was just so angry getting home so late knowing that I just couldn't do anything I loved because I had to do some bullshit that I hate. That's not success. You know what I'm saying? That's not success. The whole idea is that you go to school, you're being all successful doing this stuff, but now I can't do the things I love. And it just makes me feel like my life is going nowhere, you understand? And I just felt so alone and empty and frankly very sad. But I'm starting to get around to it. I'm starting to learn more about the campus. I'm starting to learn like the better routes to go there a little bit. I'm starting to like it more. I'm starting to get in more of a more of a routine, if you will. And it's giving me a little bit of time to make this video right here. So, yeah, I didn't like something about my life, so I'm trying my best to change it. Because I've even thought about dropping out. I don't... <sighs> I just feel kind of empty there sometimes, man. And But I know that's not the solution. I know that's not the solution. My parents worked really hard to get me to where I am today, and they can afford to send me to a school. I'm lucky as hell, man. I have no reason to complain. No reason to complain at all, even though... That's what I've been doing for a big portion of this video. Yeah, that, uh, what does that say about me, huh? But I just want you guys to know I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. I'm not, I'm not completely losing my mind. I'm only, I'm taking way less classes than I was at my old school. Like, at my old school, I never took less than five classes in a semester. And I just barely finished all my requirements in two years. So... I'm taking my time. I'm going at a much slower pace now, which I feel like I absolutely need to do for myself and for you guys because, you know, if I went at too high of a pace again, I would have no time to make videos at all. I would have no chance in hell. It would take me an hour, like a half hour to get to and from school and then I'd have homework to do. Homework I'd be putting off just so I could make these videos and I, it just wouldn't work out. But here I am. I'm able to talk to you guys and I'm really lucky, happy, and blessed that I'm able to do so. Speaking of YouTube, another thing that's been stressing me out has been just that. It's been YouTube and uh, my YouTube struggles. As you guys know, I get a lot of comments saying, like, why don't I have more subscribers? And I genuinely, genuinely could never give you guys an answer because in my mind, I work really hard on my videos. I think I have good content. I think I have a good uh, content format, if you will, or schedule, even though I don't typically stick to it because I'm a lazy son of a bitch. But, uh, yeah, it's been stressing me out. No feeling like I'm not getting anywhere with that either. I've just been feeling such a lack of progress, you know? But, and sometimes people forget that, like, this is just the, this is just an earlier chapter of your life, you understand? You still have the whole rest of the book to go through. You have, you still have more chapters to go through. Like, everybody thinks that just because they're, like, approaching the end of their chapter or it's just taking a long time for them to finish their chapter that it's gonna be the end of the entire book you know but that's not the truth and people really forget that about themselves and even I do 
I've had friends come to me for advice. I have friends come to me for advice all the time. I don't know why. Like, everybody, like, comes to me, like, for advice, and I seriously don't know why. Like, I'm not some sort of sage, grand guru of life, even though Zenyatta's probably my favorite character in Overwatch. This gameplay might be of him. It probably is. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, people always came to me for advice. They always thought I was wise, and, like, I'm just a dude, but, you know, I appreciate that compliment, because I've had friends who've been in that same situation, and I'm not trying to brag or anything, but they always felt a lot better, a ton better after they talked to me. And that's one of the things I'm good at. One of the things I'm not good at is taking criticism. And that's one thing I need to do to get back on track. Because, uh, what I've learned about YouTube is that it's so corporate now. And there's so much competition and money and sponsors involved with it. It's not like the old days of YouTube where people just threw sunglasses on each other's faces. The video got a couple million hits and everybody had a good time. It's not like that anymore. YouTube tries to search for ventures, you know, like for better people to market their website and to generate more traffic so they make more money and those YouTubers, like, they get more money themselves. It's a win-win situation for both of them, except for everybody who now doesn't know how to get, like, famous on YouTube or get subscribers on YouTube because the way you did it in the old days is that you made a good video and people saw it. That's how it used to be. It's not like that anymore. It doesn't matter how good your content is or how much you post. You're not gonna get- you're not gonna get better. You're not- your YouTube channel is not gonna get better. You're not gonna get more subscribers. There's a whole slew of bullshit you have to go through. Like, there's so much stuff I have to look at and learn about YouTube, about their algorithms and stuff, and like, their feeds and things of the like, and how to make videos show up in people's news feeds, how to read my analytics. There's a whole lot of stuff I need to do. If I really want to get somewhere with this. So, I just want to tell you guys that I don't know how soon it's going to be because I am busy with school. But I'm trying to revamp my channel. Not necessarily revamp my channel, but actually, yeah, pretty much that. Revamp my channel. Just some reform, if you will. Or just applying a lot of new things to it that I need to do if I really want to get my content shown. Because, again, I, I've said this in previous videos. I don't think my content is really bad. I don't think it's the most special thing in the entire universe, but I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad, like, for me to be in this- I don't think it's bad enough for me to be in the standing that I'm in now. Like, with 365 subscribers, you understand? With less subs than there are videos? Because that's what I'm really sick of. Having less subscribers than there are videos, but I've been reading some stuff, and when I read those stuff about YouTube, like, all the advice that people give you regarding it, even YouTube tweeted at me when I made some sort of negative comment, like, I just- I just got, like, emotional, like, on Twitter. Like, not- not enough to start, like, fights with people. It wasn't like that. But sometimes, you know, like any other human, I just let my emotions get the better of me sometimes. And I was sad, and I posted some down stuff about how no one cares about my videos, and, like, YouTube saw it. Like, the Twitter account for YouTube saw it. Like, I didn't even tag them or anything. Like, I didn't go, like, at YouTube or anything. They just saw it and offered me to look at their YouTube Creator Academy, which I've read a lot of it, and a lot of it is shit I already do, so it's not helpful at all. Um, but yeah, when I read those, and when I read, like, the articles that I've found about, like, uh, getting better on YouTube and stuff, and getting bigger on YouTube, a big reaction I have is feeling overwhelmed. I feel very overwhelmed, because a lot of it is stuff I feel like I can't do, you know, and that is- it's just too big of a mountain to surpass. You understand? Like, that's just how it feels when I look at that stuff, because, really, there's so much stuff that all these people insist that you need to do to have any chance at this. And it just makes me sad, because YouTube used to be so much better than that. And I just want to make videos that entertain people. And I just want to feel like people are watching something and enjoying something that I'm putting out. You know, that I'm pouring my heart and soul into with these videos. Because that's what I've been doing for the past couple of years. But, it ain't like that anymore. You gotta put in... There's a lot... There's a lot of BS that you have to go through. And, I don't want to feel overwhelmed looking at those things anymore. I am, right now, overwhelmed when I see those things, but... I can't feel that way anymore if I want to get somewhere. I have to start thinking like a success, you know? I have to start moving myself forward and just telling myself that I can do these things. I can learn how to do these things and that it will help me in the long run. Because I've tried just making good content and putting it out on a consistent basis for a year and a half now. And, uh, look where that's got me. So yeah, I just want you guys to know that I, I'm okay. 
I know it sounds like I'm just in a really rough place right now, and, and you know, I am. I'm working hard. I'm working hard. I'm trying to, like, make myself better. I'm trying to make, you know, my YouTube better. I'm just trying to be the best me I can be, because that's what I want more than almost anything else in this world. Besides a girl with fat titties. But, you know, but that, that, that girl aside, you know, there are a lot of things that I want. And a lot of things that I have to work for. So, I want you guys to know, this is not the end for me. I'm not saying that I'm gonna go anywhere, or there's, or I'm gonna, like, leave you guys. Because that's not the case. I've worked too hard to get you guys to watch. I've worked too hard to give up on my channel now. I don't think I could possibly give up on it if I tried. Because I love doing it so much, regardless of... How much YouTube just repeatedly kicks me in the dick for just trying to be a part of it. I can't give up. I physically can't. I can't do it. Like, I, my body just won't let me. Like, I'm gonna be, like, scrolling up to, like, my YouTube, like, section. I'm gonna be trying to delete my channel and anything. And I just, I won't, I wouldn't be able to click it. Like, my finger would just start, like, twitching at the mouse and just be like, I'll be like, finger, do my bidding. Delete the channel. And it'd be like, no, you work too hard for this. I've been your finger for years. You deserve better. But what I am saying is, there's a lot of stuff I need to work on for my YouTube channel. A lot of stuff I need to do to officially get myself noticed. And I want to start working on that as soon as possible. So if videos are a little less consistent, just know it is because I not only am working on a bunch of new videos for you, I have uh, a new Let's Play coming out very soon, actually. A uh, new Let's Play I did with ADZ Gaming. You could go sub to him, uh, put a link in the description. Uh... Uh, we played Mario Golf. He got really, really mad. But, uh, anyway. Uh, I have that prepared. I have another Let's Play I did with Dennis. I just gotta finish it and contact him so we can finish it. I'm just kinda scared to because he goes to the same school I do. And he's probably just as busy, if not busier than I am. So, I'm just a little scared to ask him to finish it. But, I will. I will try and get to that as soon as I can as well. I also have a crap ton of top 10 lists and top 5 lists that I'm making. I have a ton of them planned out. I've spent the last couple of days... Uh, past couple of days and nights working on the full scripts for those videos. I just gotta like get the gameplay I might record some gameplay or I might just get lazy and steal some because you know I ain't got time for that But just know if uploads are a little less consistent It is because I'm very busy with school and it is because I might be very busy Possibly even busier with trying to revamp my YouTube channel and learn as much about YouTube as I possibly can Because there are a lot of YouTubers who are just garbage and should not have more subscribers than me. I'm not talking about the big ones. I'm talking about the moderate ones. Like some of the ones that have like 20,000, 18,000 subs. You know, you guys, you guys know the one. I just don't want all my efforts to feel like they're for nothing. And that is exactly what's not going to happen. They won't be for nothing. Because if I work and believe in myself, regardless of what happens or if I succeed or even if I fail, in the long run, I've succeeded. Because failure is just an opportunity for change, and it just makes you grow more as a person, and just further ensures your success in the future, you know what I'm saying? And what the hell is success anyway, huh? I live success in the moment, because I live in the present, and in the present, everything is present, and in presents are gifts, and in gifts is Christmas, and in Christmas is crumb cake, and in crumb cake is fruit cake, and in fruit cake is vomiting, and blah, 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 blah. All right. That is gonna do it, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, I love you guys more than life itself. Uh, you could like the video if you want. You can comment on it. You could subscribe. You could share it. You could do all that good stuff. That would just warm my heart to no end. Uh, and that's just gonna about do it, guys. I will gladly see you next time. I love you guys. Bye.